Once we understand how to create this beautiful login form in this React project, let me show you how you can create the left side of this form, where we're going to add an image with two buttons, login and registration. So let me show you how you can add it. I'm going to back to my project. And in this project, I'm going to create a new file, new file for the left section of this login form. So inside this component, inside this import right here, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name that file base login.jsx. That's about you. You can specify JS extension to this file as well. I'm going to create this file. Let me open this inside the inspector. So what I'm going to do is inside this base login.jsx, here I'm going to create the left side of this login form. So to create that, I'm going to simply create here a functional component. So I'm going to say here react functional component and I'm going to name this functional component base login. And to this division tag, I'm going to specify some bootstrap classes. So I'm going to specify here class name. So first I'm going to specify call sm5. So this will just specify five column space to this division tag. Just for that, I'm going to specify bg img and then I'm going to specify a line cell center. This is the bootstrap class to center all the content. Just for that, I'm going to specify here another div with info class. Inside this info, I'm going to have a logo. So I'm going to say here div with the class logo and with this, I'm going to specify a bootstrap class clear fix. Inside this div, I'm going to add an anchor tag with href attribute. I'm going to specify here hash for now and just for that, I'm going to specify class name here. For now, I'm using here anchor tag. Instead of anchor tag, in the future lectures, when we start working with React Router DOM module, we're going to convert this anchor tag into link tag. I will show that later in this course. So let me first add here an anchor tag, then specify a class name here, which is now brand. This is the bootstrap class. And then I'm going to specify here logo. That's about you. You can specify here a logo as well. I'm just going to add here a text called logo. Let me save this file. Just out of that, just out of this division tag, right down here, I'm going to create another div with the class btn section. Along with that, I'm going to add a bootstrap class clearfix. Inside this div, I'm going to create two buttons, login and registration. Let me save this file and add this base login inside my app.js. So I'm going to open the app.js and you can notice here, I have this first column and in the second column, so at the top, here I'm going to add my base login. So at the top, here I'm going to add import base login from then specify dot forward slash component imports and from that I'm going to import the base login file. Just for that, I'm going to just copy this component and specify that before this division tag. Just like this. Save this file. As you can notice, I'm going to have my logo here on the left side. Just for that, what I'm going to do is instead of adding this division tag inside this app.js, I'm going to put that inside my login form. So I'm going to simply grab this div and put that inside my login form right here. So I'm going to open my login form and right here, I'm going to add a division tag and specify class name to it. Right now, you can notice inside this login form, I have a class name called LG7. Instead of using call LG7, I'm using here call SM7. So this will just specify seven column space to the small devices. Just for that, as you can notice, I have this BG color and align cell center. I'm going to specify that here. Just for that, I'm going to copy this closing div and put that just down here. After the last closing division tag, like this. I'm going to save this file and I'm going to get rid of this div from here just like this save this file and as you can see i'm going to have the result what i want just for that here i want to add two buttons login and registration so when you click on the login it will open the login form and when you click on the registration it will open the registration form so for that i'm going to open the base login.jsx and right here inside this div i'm going to create two buttons so i'm going to create my first button and i'm going to specify class name to it class name is going to be nav link link btn and btn primary along with that i'm going to specify here default bg these are my custom classes right and inside this button i'm going to specify text login save this file 
you can notice i'm gonna have here my button now don't worry i will specify my custom styling to this button so i'm gonna leave this as it is just out of that i'm gonna copy this btn this button and paste it down here instead of login this time i'm gonna specify here register save this file and i'm gonna have my register button here now the time is to style this section let me first save this file and back to my login.scss file so i'm gonna open the login.scss and at the top just after this login right down here i'm gonna specify dot and then specify default bg and then specify here extend and i'm going to call a class background so i'm going to specify default background to this default bg class then i'm going to specify here color to the text and i'm going to specify hex color to these buttons when i save the changes you can notice i'm going to have the background color and the text color to these buttons just so that inside your login box you have this left section let me show you if i just open the app.js file you can notice you have this login box and using that you can access this base login classes so i'm going to open my login.scss and inside this login box right down here i'm going to first select the info class and to this info i'm going to first specify height which is going to be 450 pixel that's upon you you can change these values and specify your own values here and then i'm going to specify position which is going to be relative save this file just for that i'm going to select the logo the descendant logo class so i'm going to specify here descendant logo and i'm going to specify here text align which is going to be left then i'm going to specify margin 20 pixel just for that i'm going to select the nav brand this logo text using the descendant class now brand i'm going to save this file and let me open the base login.jsx file right here i have this class to this anchor tag i'm going to just access this anchor tag specify style to it which is going to be font size is going to be 22 pixel then i'm going to specify font width so i'm going to say here extend font bold and then i'm going to specify color color is going to be the hex value when i save the changes i'm going to have my logo here just for that inside this base login we have the btn section to start this btn section just out of this login right down here inside this info i'm going to select the descendant btn section and to this btn section i'm going to first specify position absolute then specify top top is going to be 40 percent and then i'm going to specify right right is going to be zero just for that i'm going to specify here margin bottom is going to be zero and just for that inside this button section i'm going to select the link btn class and to that i'm going to specify font size which is going to be 12 pixel just out of that i'm going to specify font width so i'm going to use here my extend feature so i'm going to say here font bold just out of this link btn right down here i'm going to specify link btn class again and with that i'm going to call the active class so if we have active class with this link btn i'm going to change some properties right now i don't have any active class to this button so just for now let's specify here background color and to this background i'm going to specify hex value and specify my color here then i'm going to specify here color property which is going to be the value of the text save this file just for that i'm going to specify styling to these buttons so just down here i'm going to select the descendant btn primary class and i'm going to specify first the extend text center then I'm going to specify line height is going to be 30 pixel. Then I'm going to specify width, which is going to be 100 pixel. Then I'm going to specify text transform. Text transform is going to be uppercase. And just for that, I'm going to specify border radius. Border radius is going to be 50 pixel, 0, 0, and 50 pixel. That will just specify this border radius 50 pixel to the left and to this top left corner when i save the changes you can notice just for that i'm going to specify margin bottom margin bottom is going to be 15 pixel just for that i'm going to specify border which is going to be none i'm going to remove the border from this button 
and then I'm going to specify focus pseudo selector. So here I'm going to specify ampersand, then I'm going to specify colon and call here focus. And to this focus, I'm going to specify outline, which is going to be none, and box shadow is going to be none. So when you click on the button, you will not get any outline and the box shadow to this buttons. Just for that, let me add background image to this left section. So at the top, before this info, right up here, I'm going to add a section called BG IMG. I already have this class right here. So I'm going to just specify here padding. Padding is going to be zero. Then I'm going to specify border radius 10 pixel, zero, zero, and again 10 pixel. This will just specify border radius to this sides. Just out of that, I'm going to specify background. Background is going to be the image. So I'm going to specify here URL, and inside that, I'm going to specify my image URL. Right now, I don't have any image inside this project. If you can notice here, inside my source folder, I don't have any image. Inside this source folder, right here, I'm going to create a new folder called assets. And inside this asset folder, I'm going to add my image. Don't worry, you can download this image from the description of this video. Let me just put an image inside this folder. So once I put an image inside this folder, you can notice I have this pg image.jpg file here inside this asset folder. So once you put that inside the asset folder, let me show you how you can use it. I'm going to open the app.js file and here I'm going to first import this image. You can import this image inside your app component as well, or you can import this image inside this index.js file. I'm going to put that inside this index.js file. So here I'm going to say import, then specify here code dot forward slash and then i'm going to specify asset folder and inside that you have bg underscore img dot jpg file i'm going to specify the name of that file and now i want to get the url of this file to get the url of this image i'm going to just specify here img from and i'm going to print this img if i just specify here console dot log and if i print img when i save the changes back to my project and if I open the console I'm gonna have the URL of my image I'm gonna just copy this get rid of this console right from here and get rid of this IMG and from save this file and back to my login.sss and inside this file here you can notice I have this BG image inside this URL I'm gonna specify the URL of my image so I'm gonna paste the copy URL like this and just for that, what you need to do is, before this static, you need to specify the address of your local server. So I'm going to copy this address and specify that here, like this. Don't forget to remove this double dash right from here. Save this file, just for that. At the last, here I'm going to specify top, left, and then I'm going to specify no, repeat. Now when I save the changes, as you can see, I'm going to have the image here. So just for that. Before this background, I'm going to specify the RGB alpha color and for the red, I'm going to specify 0. For the green, I'm going to specify 0. And for the blue, I'm going to specify 0. And in the alpha value, I'm going to specify 0 0.04. So this statement is going to specify color over this image. So this will just glow the image a little bit. Just out of that, I'm going to specify background size. It is going to be cover. And I'm going to specify top, top is going to be 0, bottom is going to be 0, opacity is going to be 1. Save these changes. As you can see, I'm going to have the result what I want. Now, once you understand how to create the left section of this login form, in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create the registration of this project.